Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome electric guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn the single most awesome pentatonic tapping trick. It's such a simple trick, and yet you can create fantastically elaborate sounds using this trick. So let me demonstrate and give you a couple of ideas first so you can wrap your ears around it. And then I'm gonna show you exactly how simple it is. It's almost effortless. So something like this. Hey, um, hey, you can you can do many different things with it. Okay, I'm just fooling around here to show you how simple it is. Um, you can also open strings if you're in the right. Uh, if you're in the right scale, so you can complicate it even further. All right. So, what's going on here? I'm basically duplicating the pentatonic scale seven frets above my given scale, okay, the key that I'm in. So, I was playing a minor pentatonic, okay, the pentatonic scale on five. Okay, so I had eight five eight five seven five seven five seven five eight five. Okay, I think I don't have to explain the pentatonic scale to you if you're watching this lesson. And seven frets above five is twelve. Okay, five plus seven equals twelve. So the first thing you can do is basically just tap twelve all over the place. You don't even have to duplicate the whole scale. Okay, so. Yeah, and if you do it quickly enough, it sounds really complicated, but you're actually just repeating the pentatonic scale and adding 12 on the, um, with the tapping hand. Okay, so it all depends on your style. I don't want to give you specific licks to copy. I want you to understand the concept. Okay, so what I was doing here, basically, was I was playing the pentatonic scale, tapping the 12, and then on the next string, I hammered on the note. Okay, so if I'm on the first string, I have 8, 5, and 12. And to go to the next string, I am hammering on the 8. You can also bend it. You can also bend it while tapping. Okay. If this fits your sound. Now, the more you get used to this, the faster you get. Okay. It's really easy to build up speed using this tapping trick. Now, um, the lick I did, uh, the, the first lick I played, I think was something like this. Right? So I was combining ideas. I was playing the tapped scale with the extra note, and I bent. Right? Now, the detuning effect, I personally like to detune notes. I like dirty notes. You might not like it, so you don't have to do it. Okay? I like it when the guitar talks a little bit and goes a little bit out of key. Now, um, the cool thing here is, as I said, if you're in A, Okay, in A minor, you can open strings as well. Okay, so whatever tapping patterns you like to play, utilize this. Now, one cool lick I did was something like this. Okay. 
okay? Which is a Greg Howe inspired lick. It's basically string skipping and I'm playing octaves. So I'm playing the octaves of the scale. A little bit out of tune, but never mind. It's a tapping. Um, I'm, I'm not going to stop to tune the bass note, okay? Because as you heard when I was playing the solo, you couldn't hear that it was slightly detuned. It's just if you play the, um, the octaves together. So basically, if I'm playing eight on the first ring and five on the third, I get an octave. So it's the same thing on the next ring. And then on the next uh, couplet, okay, strings three and five and four and six, it's seven and five. Now, basically, I'm hammering on the scale note first. Okay, now, if you do it slowly, of course, the, the hammer-on doesn't really work, so... You can do it backward. And after I'm hammering on the scale note, I'm hammering on and pulling off the 12. Now, this lick, this particular lick, might be a little bit difficult for you if you're not used uh, to hammering on notes out of nowhere. Okay. I'm a huge Greg Howe fan, so um, I've been playing this for years. Now, um, if you want to duplicate the scale and create a more elaborate sound, then you can add the next note. So if you're on the 12th fret, you have the pentatonic shape there. Okay. 15, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12. So you can add all those notes. And obviously you can vibrate the tapped note. Okay, vibrate your usual fretting hand. or bend it. You see? Now, I said it's almost effortless um, because it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. Okay? If you close your eyes and you listen to me play something like this. Hey. Even though it's nonsense, sonically, frequency-wise, pitch-wise, it's all over the place. So it sounds like I'm playing uh, something so stretchy and jumpy while all I'm doing is tapping the exact same shape, seven frets upwards. So this is a lot easier than it sounds. Just practice it for a week and you'll see. Now, um, you can open strings if you're in A, don't forget. Hey, you can do really cool things. You can even just hammer on the note. And it's really cool. such a fun way to use tapping, okay, and such an unexpected way to use tapping all over the, f the fretboard, basically, okay, across all strings, and as I said, you, you don't even, you don't have to move anywhere, you're, you're static, okay, you're just on the same spot on the fretboard all the time, all you, all, 
All you have to think about if you really want to make that extra effort is to play the pentatonic shape here. But you don't have to, you can just play 12 and it works. So check out my course program, my full course program, the Break Your Boundaries course program, lickandref.com slash courses. It also includes my Electric Soloing Mastermind Mega Pack. It includes 1,100, okay, over 1,100 creative licks, including over 100 tapping licks, okay, in 11 different musical genres. You get that pack, that mega pack, as a bonus when you join my Break Your Boundaries sports program. So check it out, lickandref.com slash courses. Take your playing to the stratosphere. So I will see you the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.